Hi and welcome to Healthy Life Hacks. I'm Jennifer Jeffries, the present day wise woman, a realistic naturopath coming to you from the surfing beaches of Australia. This podcast is for those of you who are wanting to really rock your life and health and live from a place of prevention. Let's get into today's episode. Did you know that we're actually built? We are designed to find fault in self-sabotage and limiting beliefs. We are. We're actually designed to find fault in everything. The human being is so bloody interesting. We don't default naturally to positive. We default to find we default to find fault, which is crazy. So why are we why are we built that way? Why are we built to default to find fault? Well, the bottom line is it's kind of a way to help protect ourselves so that we're we're able to look, 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 what's everything that can go wrong so that we can shield ourselves from any potential kind of harm. So this, this self-sabotage comes uh, in the form of limiting beliefs that we develop through our life and they help, yeah, keep us safe. So they're, they're beliefs that um, are wrapped around things like fears, values, experiences. And so it's thoughts like, you know, I can't do that or I'm, um, I'm not good enough to do that or I'm too old to do that or, you know, it's like we don't even get anywhere near what it is. We self-sabotage before we get towards what it is we're actually wanting to do. So when we have a negative belief, we we can struggle to take the risks to overcome it because, like, that negative belief is reinforcing all the time. Um, about kind of why it's worth and important to stretch beyond the fears and go for whatever it is. So even if I think about with my surfing, and I've talked about how I, I I mindfully change my mind around from being scared of bigger waves to the thought process and the mantra that I charge waves. And it's absolutely had a change over the last couple of months in my surfing. I caught my biggest wave ever last week. So it's it's something that I too get the opportunity to master okay because what normally happens is we have these self-limiting beliefs self-sabotages are built into us anyway and they can lead us into situations where we have we're full of self-doubt uh do it long enough and you go down the rabbit hole and you just think oh fuck i can't do anything right like depression and not feeling good about yourself it can all go there so how do we start to change that self-sabotage to one of, uh, as it comes up, be able to deal with it differently. I want to talk into that because it's been, I, you know, I'm aware of it and notice that it still happens. And I work, you know, one-on-one coaching with so many people and help them move through these things and replace it or create different systems and tactics to be able to deal with things when they come up. So just know that first that we are built not self-sabotage, but we're built by default to find fault in everything. And that's what allows us to stay stuck self-sabotaging and not giving things a go in the first place. That's it. So what do we need to do? What's a way? Here's kind of like five steps, five systems, five thinking, five processes that are needed to, that I have found and needed to change our default. Because the default is there already for us to just default to, self-sabotage and looking for fault in everything. So I'm mindfully, I'm working this myself, which is why I want to share it today. Okay, so the first one is to acknowledge your feelings. So if I'm thinking about, if I'm using, for this instance, surfing, you know, bigger waves as a as an example. So I'll acknowledge my feelings. So I'm, I'm at the beach, I'm looking at waves, I think, fuck, they're, they're too big. Like, they're scary, all those kind of things. And Alice, my wife, she's taught me, you know, just to breathe with them at the room. You know, it's when we're scared, we naturally will hold our breath. And even when I'm paddling into, paddling onto a wave, I noticed I was holding my breath. And so it's, it's very mindful for me to now to keep breathing. And if anything, breathe out as, I, as I'm paddling, which is kind of counterintuitive. But just to move the energy to keep you going, because otherwise we hold our breath and, and we'll naturally hold back, we'll pull back off a wave if it gets, you know, if I feel like I'm going to go over the falls instead of charging the wave. So acknowledge your feelings, feel them, okay? But take that time to pause. And, and it's a split second sometimes, but notice it. And without judgment, that's really important, okay? Because then it's like, you, and you can process this really quite quick in your mind once you get into the groove of it. But 
you want to just, uh, what, what I'm doing is doing a quick assessment, you know, like um, I can, I take more risks, definitely at a higher tide because I know there's more water below me, which means you can drown easier, but you're not going to get slammed onto a sandbank. So they both have got risks. But for me, I'm, I'm kind of naming it, acknowledging it without judgment, just go, okay, okay, yeah, Jen, cool, you're scared, okay, just how do we get through that stuck emotion? How do we get through that stuck feeling? Great. Do something. Paddle forward. Breathe. Breathe out. Stop hanging on to your breath. That's one of the first things I do. Then we've got a split second to replay, re, reframe our thoughts. Now, when we're first doing this, when you're in it and you're self-sabotaging, I'm, I can see a wave coming. I think, oh, fuck, it's big. In an instant, my brain goes, yes, it's too big. Hold back. Don't go. But the more we catch it, and at first you're catching it kind of mid-flight, and you know, my brain will start doing the, oh, it's a big wave. And instead of going, I'm scared, like I was doing, now I'm, I'm replacing it because I'm saying it to myself enough. I charge waves, I charge waves, I charge waves. And I'm paddling for way more stuff than I used to. Do I catch it all? No. Nah. Am I getting better than I was? Yep. And that's what it's about. So pay attention, pay attention to the way you're talking to yourself, that self-language, that the limiting beliefs and statements that you're saying to yourself. And um replace them with and i'm an i'm an idealistic real realistic idealist so i live this rose colored kind of world but i've still got a you know kind of a safety to it i don't default anywhere near as much as other people do but so i'm still you know i'll watch and uh and live aware so but I'll, i'm reframing my thoughts instead of going ah oh, i'm scared away it's like i charge and I start paddling and I remember to get the energy moving and I do that by breathing out. Now, we've got to look after ourselves in that kind of place. We've got to be able to make self-care, making sure that you are a priority and that, um, you know, I've got more chance of charging ways and having the mindset to do that stuff if I've looked after myself and I've had a good night's sleep, if it makes sense. Uh, I have no judgment on what I'm doing. I know there's people out there who surf way better than me. I know there's people out there that surf not as good as me yet. Um, no no guilt, no shame, no no stories, no nothing. I'm just looking after and managing my brain space, my mental health. Uh, when I put myself in those situations where I have in the past self-sabotage. And, yeah, I look after myself. So I know how important good sleep is to me, for instance. Uh, that just That really impacts my my thinking every day. So I make that as a priority. That's a big piece of my own self-care. Um, number four is we've got to take action, like I said. So if I'm thinking about surfing and I've, I've acknowledged, I've gone, yep, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I think my brain's de started to default to that's too big. I go, no, nah, I chain, I reframe my thoughts. I charge waves. I, I'm good. I've, you know, I've got myself in check. And then I've got to take an action. I've got to breathe out and start paddling for the wave. That's it. You've got to take an action. You 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 name the action and you you want to set it up in in advance. So don't wait till that situation. So I knew I wanted to start charging waves instead of holding back. And so I made the commitment to myself that whenever, you know, literally I said I saw a wave coming that I and I'd say to myself, "Yep, I charge waves." I instantly I just start paddling and but breathing out while I paddle to to get myself ready to you know that I'm not holding on to the emotion. So if you have a system, a tactic, whatever it is, ready whenever you go into the, the, the situation, it, whenever it comes up in future, your brain has got something to go to. If you haven't got an action sorted out, ready to go, you just go, yeah, I'm just going to name it and, and do something. Like you're not going to make change. So uh, it's worth, which is what the healthy life hack is, that, you know, notice what the things are, where the areas where you're self-sabotaging and absolutely start creating some simple pieces so for me it's simply you know ah big wave ah, i charge waves breathe out pedal boom done move the energy out of your body and i promise it gets easier over time at the end there might still be a second maybe a second you don't have time when you're surfing you don't get much time to to process all this so, but it's split second kind of stuff and it just gets easier over time and over time you'll find your natural default myself that natural default in that area isn't going to be keeping going, ah, oh, fuck, these waves scare me. It's going to be, I charge waves, I charge waves, I charge waves. But it's got to start somewhere. It's got to start somewhere. So the fifth step is actually to practice self-compassion. Yeah, be gentle with yourself. This is a learning. So 
when I'm, I like to put myself in the uncomfortable zone to be keep pushing my boundaries and learning different stuff. And um, but the important thing to do is without judgment, without self criticism, without anything, just be gentle with you. Like, come on, Jen, you can do it. How good? At least you paddle for that way. You didn't catch it, but how good you actually paddle for it? This, you know, replace that frustration with flow. It's really important. So the healthy life hacks for this episode is pretty simple. Notice some areas where you're self-sabotaging. The most common areas that people self-sabotage are their health. So whether it's what you're eating or how much you're moving your body a day, exercise and food, where are you self-sabotaging there? Is it your money management? I know I've been so in that area um, in the past, totally different money game in my brain nowadays. Is it relationships? I've totally sabotaged friendships and relationships over the years. I really have, Uh, just through fear, not understanding life and stuff. So just notice, and I promise this is worth the work, okay? Sit down, whether it's just quiet, and write down, just give you three areas where you know you're self-sabotaging. And what's one action you can have ready there to slot in when you're next tempted to self-sabotage? So whether it's exercise and you're committing yourself to go for even just a 10-minute walk a day, okay? 10-minute walk a day. Uh, it's pissing down rain outside, you haven't done your 10-minute walk and it's 7 o'clock at night, what are you going to do? Okay, and your brain's doing that, oh, sabotage, sabotage. No, I'm not going to do it, I can't go. And you can justify all the reasons why you don't have to exercise. What if you replace it with, I'm going to do 10 minutes skipping one spot inside the house? Whatever, just do something, have something in your brain that if it's a, a rainy day and yet you your commitment is that you would be you know, doing a 10-minute walk, whatever, that you've already got this action in place. Do a list of areas where you're self-sabotaging. Do a list of what you're going to replace it with, okay? I promise it's worth it because over time, your natural default will come to the action that is positive and take you towards your goals versus self-sabotaging. So to go and check out the show notes where you can go and review what I've just talked about, head to www.healthylifehacks.com.au. I want to thank you for being here today. If you enjoyed my podcast, please let me know by leaving a review on Apple Podcast. Every month, I draw one lucky person who leaves a review on Apple Podcast to have a free one-hour consultation with me. Be sure to subscribe to the show wherever you're tuning in from so that you always catch the next episode. And if you would like to receive a free copy of my Feed Your Body ebook, simply click the link in the comments below. Join my newsletter and we will get that free ebook sent to you. I welcome your emails and you can write to me at podcast at healthylifehacks.com.au. Until next time, remember when it comes to life, live it, love it, and get on with it.